Greetings, greetings, everybody. How are you? I am Keita J. And I felt like coming on today. Who that rhyme? Hey, Ben. Hey, let me tell you. You guys, there are some really great spirits out here. And then there are some faulty, demonic people. You gotta rise above, okay? Let me tell you what happened to Nipsey and other people in this world, good people in this world, not just Nipsey. So I just knocked over my whole tea, okay? But we gonna finish this. We gonna finish this. Okay, I done knocked over my whole tea, okay? My whole roasted dandelion tea, I done knocked it. I done knocked it over. Well, it knocked itself over. Cause it was too hot, I guess, in the container. But anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. Got my little natural wipes here. No advertisement. But let me wipe this up and then I can get back to you. Oh gosh. Alright. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm not sorry. I apologize. Anyway, let me get back to it. We have some really great people in this world. Spirits, right? amongst us on planet earth and then we have some really demonic spirits on planet earth okay and then you have some people that are in between you know what i'm saying like we're really trying to figure out and balance if we should be the higher spirit the happy spirit or we should be the low um demonic spirit <sighs> what happened to Nipsey is something that happened to a lot of people in this world you trying to give back you're trying to change your life you know um, you want to help encourage other people but yet there's always always not just one person but many people that's willing to take you out People in your circle, you know what I'm saying? When you're in high school, when we're in high school, we are learning, we're starting to learn. I have to tell my daughter often, the friends that you have today, you're gonna find sometimes those are not your friends. So we have to be open and prepared for what's to come, okay? We have to be open and prepared for what's to come because there's going to be a moment where these people that we thought that were our friends, we thought that was our close associate, is going to do us wrong. You know what I'm saying? Some, sometimes people enter into your space because they see that you have a spirit like no other. You have a, 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 a spirit that's attractive. Hey, Callie, you have a spirit that's attractive. Sometimes they want something from you. Sometimes they figure you're the person that's going to help them get to where they want to be. So you have these people that will connect with you falsely, okay? Falsely, they, they connect with you. That connection is not like, what's up? Hey, we're going to do this together. It's not like, love you, love you, sis, love you, bruh. That connection is not like that. That, that connection is faulty. That connection is like, you got to keep one eye open and one eye closed. Because I'm going to tell you, people do not, and I'm not saying everybody is this way. Please don't think I'm saying this. Just like on social media, and I'm going to get back to that. Just like on social media, you have people when your numbers are high, they come over. They're, they're connected with you. When your numbers are starting to drown out, you know what I'm saying? These people are not connected with you any longer. They've moved other places. They, you know, their spirit has 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 sent them elsewhere. 
So it's the same way on social media that it is in real life. We just have to bring that into our fruition. Make sure that we understand why people are connecting with us. Because they want to be known. Some people want you to call their name out on social media. This is why they constantly connect with you. They constantly connect with you because it's like, oh, I want this person. I want their crew to know who I am. So I'm going to try to connect with this person so I can be up all in the business. I can be up all in the everything. Okay? I could just be all up there. Okay? Everybody's going to see me when they see them because they're going to call me. So we got to understand. And I, you know what? I had to learn this because social media was different. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a different wave. It was, um, it was a different kind of, you know, connection for everybody. So we all understand that you have good and you have the bad. You have those that want to connect with you for the right reasons. And you want to have a lot of those that don't, that only want to connect with you for their own purpose. Okay? So I say that to say this. What happened to the brother Nipsey is a sad case. You know, it had me, had me down for a while because I know I have an uplifting, um, giving spirit. And I may not have been on his level giving, you know, millions of dollars here and there. But as long as you are giving, you know what I'm saying? As long as you are encouraging, it doesn't matter really about if you can give that type of money. Because, see, people follow you for the money. They follow you for the luxury items. They follow you for the materialistic things. When you don't have that to give, it's a problem. They no longer want to follow you. I don't want people following me. I, 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 look, let's connect. We don't need to follow. It's enough followers out here as it is. <clears throat> and social media and, and, and in real life, this is what people do. They follow. They follow, oh, he's putting out a documentary for Dr. Sabi. Uh, baby, Dr. Sabi is all over YouTube. If you want to listen to Dr. Sabi, you can go listen to it because I've heard many of his lectures on YouTube. I've heard how he healed the sick. I've heard how, you know, he won his lawsuit. I've, I've heard it all, okay? I've heard you got to put greens in your body. All of that's on YouTube. Everything. We're always trying to find a way around why people are the way that they are. It's no way around it. We can touch we can touch on it right here, right now. We know why we are that way. It's our upbringing. It's our environment. We can't seem to shake it. It's no one else's fault but yours. You have to get yourself out of that mindset that you're in. You know, being the jealous person. Oh, I'm jealous because this person getting hearts. This person getting, you know, uh, a lot of people on their timeline. Oh, I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous this person got a man. People just jealous. When we gonna face it? I've seen it many times. People will try to get close to you just to get what you got. And when you don't give it to them, they sabotage you. It is what it is. It's the reality. Face it. Okay? Just face it. It is what it is. That's why I'm a loner. I say to myself, listen, I don't try, have to build all these relationships with people that I don't feel the vibe with. I don't do that. I appreciate the hearts. Look, I'm just here just like everybody else trying to figure life out. My superpower is that I'm encouraging, I'm happy, I'm fulfilling. I do what the hell I want to no question and I'm not asking anybody because this is my life and I do look and I do what I want to do it's my prerogative hey live my life and that what Bobby Brown said live your life you got a song for every mood every moment every transition in life that you can make that's why music is so powerful we got to stop 
Stop trying to please people. Being people pleasers, trying to connect with people falsely, um, trying to get what p other people have. It's just, you know, it's ridiculous. So, that's my morning dedication. I know I have not been on, but I told y'all, when I'm feeling like a nut, I'm going to be a nut. I come on here, I give a word. Um, I'm not all up into the social life. I'm living in the real life. I'm doing some things on social media, but I'm doing some real life things. and putting screenwriting together, uh, a community together, because um, I really need to see people for who they are. I, I got to see people. This online shit, you can't really see people. You got to figure people out. It's hard to do that online. The only thing I know is I don't want people falsely connecting with me because at the moment I'm hot or the moment I have a man or the moment um, you want the attention that I have so you want to try to, you know, be all up in my business or all up in the video like Diddy. No time for it. Okay? So have a great day. Watch your back. Because they out here. They everywhere. Point blank period. Secure yourself. Okay? <laughs> Have a great one. Thanks for the hearts again. I appreciate it.